Hello, welcome everybody to a Facebook Friday, not a Furly, no, not a, well, not Facebook Friday. It's a Facebook Thursday. I was like, wait a minute, what am I saying? It's a Furlichi Thursday instead of a Furlichi Friday, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, hopefully a few of you can join me today. I know it's kind of random um, to be doing this on a Thursday instead of a Friday, but we have our weekend retreat down in Lansing tomorrow. And I know I've got to get my car all packed up because I take all of my stamp sets and all my big shot supplies, um, all my punches, all kinds of good stuff. We bring tons and tons of stuff down there. So good. Okay. Yay. People are popping on. Thank you guys. Hello, Miss Teresa and Miss Christine. Glad you guys can be here. So yay. Good. I'm glad Thursday's working out for at least a couple of us, right? So yeah. So I got to get down tomorrow and get everything, um, set up and ready to go for the weekend and I am totally looking forward to it. Not actually completely prepared myself yet, but that's what I'll be doing um, tonight basically is getting myself together. Hello, Miss Pam. So glad you can pop on today. Thank you for joining us. So yeah, we've got lots of good stuff. We have our product of the week, you guys. This is beautiful. Hey, Philomena, so glad you can be here today. Yay, I'm so excited. I wasn't sure, like, can anybody, am I gonna be talking to like no eyeballs today, basically? So yay, I'm just so glad you guys can be here. Um, Very, very fun. So yeah, product of the week, we have the In the Pines stamp set which this is just a beautiful, you know, if you're ready kind of for holiday stuff, right? A beautiful stamp set with lots of kind of winter imagery. And then um, just two great sentiments. We've got thinking of you and season's greetings. Um, and these are kind of layering type of things. So you could stamp this tree and then this kind of gives it a little bit more shading and detail. And same thing with those and with those. And then I think the little ones, I'm trying to do it backwards, but those right there as well. So yeah, thank you for the share, Philomena too. And then a great set of dies. I'll kind of flip them this way. We've got Barb. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. We've got a couple of, I don't know, they almost look like ski slopes, right? Like you can make um, 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 winter scenes, like snowy winter scenes is what I'm trying to say. And then a, a ton of um, dies too that'll cut kind of just um, the stamped imagery. So of course they coordinate, right? But then there's lots of detail, lots of fun things you can do just with the dies alone. Like with these dies right here, actually there are three of them that give you lots of detail and then you can cut things out too. So awesome set of products, the stamp set and the dies. You can buy the stamp set, you can buy the dies, you can buy the bundle and save 10%. We featured this on our Facebook group and we're gonna make a couple of awesome projects with it in just a little bit right here on our Facebook Live today. So very excited to share those with you guys. I think you're going to love those projects. There are tons of great ideas out there on Pinterest too. Um, so don't be um, afraid to just pop on the Pinterest. All you do, like all I ever do when I pop on the Pinterest, for example, <clears throat> Even to get my wheels turning, because I'm not miscreative, I'm like the accountant, like whatever, the numbers brain that like loves this creativity, but it's really not, doesn't come to me very naturally. So I love to pop onto Pinterest, and what I do is, for example, like when I was trying to design these projects, I pop on, and in the little looking glass, I type in Stampin' Up, and I always do that, because I don't want to get a bunch of other stuff that isn't Stampin' Up related. So I type in Stampin' Up, those are the first two words I put in every single search I do, and then in this case, I put in In the Pines. So I put in Stampin' Up, In the Pines, and click on that, and anybody that's tagged a project with Stampin' Up and with In the Pines is going to pop up in your feed there on Pinterest, and just tons of great ideas. So um, yeah, I kind of use some... Uh, inspiration that I found on Pinterest is a jumping off point to make a couple of projects that I'm going to share with you guys in just a little bit. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And then don't forget too, we have uh, the designer series paper sale. It's been going on all month long. We've got a couple more, well, I guess a little over a week, right? So next Saturday, October 31st, Halloween is the last day of the designer series paper sale. So we've got paper from the annual catalog and paper, paper from the um, August to December mini catalog, so basically holiday catalog stuff too. So if you haven't had a chance to shop from that yet, do that now because you get 15% off. Like why would you pay full price when you can get 15% off for the next, what, eight or nine days? So yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're right, Pam. Pinterest is the bomb. I know, I know I use it all the time, very much so. So, okay, I wanna show you guys, we had our, so my team meeting, our Inkspired Stampers team meeting, we had that earlier this week and we made some beautiful projects. So I have to share these with you. Um, today. This was our make and take project. I'm going to kind of try to lift this up so you can see. So it's basically like a stack of boxes with 
the beautiful, if you can see that real red sheer ribbon, we made a little tag for it too. So I've got the little, can you see the little um, star? I think those are called the glitter star ornaments. So we've got one of those hanging off and then we've got the tis the season. So this is from that um, tag buffet stamp set. Um, <clears throat> So we kind of made that little tag right on there. I love this little, I have to pull that back out. I'm trying to do it backwards and it's really not working, but I love that little star too. So I have to have that hanging on there also. Yeah, but this ribbon, isn't it just gorgeous? So a beautiful stack of boxes um, with coordinating, um, so box and then lid. So this is part of the Heartwarming Hugs designer series paper. We've got four different patterns right there. So you actually get a good, um, feature of the different designer series paper in there too and so they just so this would be a great um, like gift I actually think it'd be super cute as like a home decor like just put it on like a table or something um, yeah the boxes are awesome aren't they Barb love these boxes and then we made these cute little tags to go inside that of course also feature the tag buffet stamp set so I'm going to kind of show you these one at a time so we have the little Merry Christmas and this was just you have to fussy cut so the Merry Christmas is in the tag buffet stamp set. Um, so we just fussy cut that and put it on um, another little piece of designer series paper. My favorite part, honestly, about that stamp set is the to and from, because usually they're teeny, teeny, tiny, and whoever writes that teeny, teeny, tiny. So these are actually really good size. Like this is probably about the size that I actually write when I write somebody's name. So I love, if you guys can see, I'll show you on the back of another one that you might be able to see a little bit better. So there's this with love for you with the little red rhinestones um, and then the holly berry, right? So there, there you can see the to and from better, right? I love, plus it's the beautiful scrolly like um, cursive font too. And then there's another one that we made with the little um, ornament and the two in the front and the back in that one. And lastly, we made um, the little um, stocking and then again with the two in the front on the back of that. So all of these, the idea was that you could put all of these tags in that top little baby box if you would like. Um, and just have some fun with the, or, or don't even have to stack up the boxes. You can just use those and put little gifts in each of them. So super duper cute. We had lots and lots of fun making the boxes and the tags the other night. And then I have to share with you guys um, some of the swap cards that people brought to share with everybody at our team meeting. Um, so this, which one do I wanna show you first? Here, we'll do, we'll kinda of go in order of like season, I think, right? So love the um, sunflower. We'll forever, ever, ever love that sunflower. And I love how, I think this was Sunday, made this card. I love how she used that plaid um, Tidings Designer Series paper and it's just kinda of popping out behind her sunflower. She made a bunch of different, um, you know, cause we only get so many patterns. Like I think you only get four pieces of that pattern of paper. So she made a few different ones. So they were really fun to see, but I loved this orange and yellow, um, pattern. So that was one of the swap cards with the let's celebrate you. So great birthday card too, right? Then we have, <clears throat> this is beautiful too. And I can't remember these dies. They were from actually from our holiday catalog last year, but they were some of my absolute favorites. So it was fun to see those on this swap card. Sharon made this swap card too, that says hello on it. Also, I feel like there's some, yeah, she, I was like, I feel like there's some sparkle. Can you guys see? She put some of the champagne rhinestones and she used some of the plaid tidings designer series paper. It was funny because we were talking at the meeting, like basically, nobody can get enough of the plaid tidings designer series paper like we're all going to be so bummed when it goes away i think there are just so many beautiful plaid patterns that are great like for halloween like for fall and thanksgiving that are great for christmas there are even some in there that can work for valentine's day too so they've they've covered a bunch of kind of seasons and then some of them are kind of masculine too so that works really well when we need masculine projects also right so but i love that and there's just you guys aren't getting the sparkle every time i turn it around i'm like ooh, it's like shining at me um, but I don't feel like you're getting that online. Maybe a little bit. So anyway, very, very pretty. So then I have to show you this. Uh, actually, we'll do this one next. Um, this one Diana made, and it's got a belly band on it too. So you can see they kind of, let's see, maybe it probably went right about there. She used some of that, um, the Snowflake Splendor, that sheer kind of glittery iridescent ribbon, and then with some of the patterns of the is it called snowflake splendor the designer series paper so this lifts off right and then let me make sure i do this right so you can open this up that little flap right there and oops oh she put a little something on the inside that's funny i think it was basically <laughs> that's so cute i forgot she did that she says enjoy made by diana boone <laughs> so cute but then look there's the inside isn't that so pretty 
So I love kind of the detail there with that belly band and then you open this up. What a cool fold on the card too. And then she used a bunch more of that beautiful Snowflake Designer Series paper with the cutout too. I love that too. And I haven't done that yet um, on a project. I've used, or maybe I did, I don't know. I can't remember, but I love that detail, how it cuts that label out, but then it keeps some of that, some of that Snowflake imagery there too. So it is so pretty, isn't it, Christine? I know. Good morning, Susan. Glad you can be here with us. I'm just so excited that Thursday's working for people because I really wasn't sure. So yeah, and then some more um, snowflakes. Thank you for the share, Susan. Love that. Super duper appreciate the shares. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, shares to Facebook groups too are especially awesome because you know when you share it on your news feed that's one thing but if you share it to a Facebook group that you're a part of that reaches hopefully a whole new level of crafting friends that might like to enjoy hanging out with us on Facebook lives also so really love for you to do that and truly appreciate that when you do that too so um, okay let's see okay now this one Susie made this card and I have to so it's like this but actually I'm gonna to try to kind of show you. So it's almost like a little holder here for this. Can you see? This is more of the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. And then she made that cute little box that fits in that little slot right there. Isn't that adorable? And then she used some of the bow. I can't remember. It's like the gift bow die. I don't have it yet, actually. Um, so I can't remember the name of it, but isn't that so cute? And I think there are chocolates. It's actually pretty heavy. So I'm like, ooh, I kind of want to untie that. You know, later today when I get hungry, I'm going to have to break into that box. I wanted to show you guys at first though. So isn't that cute? So just, it's like a standard. She just did a little cut out there and then made that cute little box that fits right inside. So love that one too. Um, and then let's see, one more. And actually Char demonstrated this card. She called it... <clears throat> a squash card, squash card, and I'll show you. Cause I think cause it folds up. So <laughs> it is impressive, isn't it, Teresa? Yes, it is. So the cute little, what does it say? Warm and toasty wishes to you with the little polar bear, not little, right? He's a big guy, right? And then all the fun coloring that she did on his hat and his scarf and those little skates. And then, okay, so let me see. I don't wanna like ruin anything, but we're gonna untie the bow trying to do this. I think I have to set it down. And Stormy is like, what the heck is going on? So I see out the window that Lily came home from school and then I had a bunch of stuff um, that needed to go to the post office. So I had texted her to say, hey, I'm gonna put it out in the mudroom. Would you like just pop in and grab what needs to go to the post office and go do that? So Stormy, the dog, heard her come in, open the door, but didn't actually see her because she's back in the mudroom. And now he's freaking out because he's like, I know I heard her, but where did she go? <laughs> so poor guy. She'll be back in just a little bit, okay, after she's done at the post office. So love this with this brand new 16-year-old kid that wants to drive everywhere. So I don't have to buy my own gas anymore. I really don't have to go to the grocery store anymore. And I don't have to go to the post office anymore. So life is good, actually. She's like my errand queen. So we laugh about that, right? It happens with every 16 year old. They wanna go like run around and do all the errands, right? So, okay, so here, I finally, that was like my chatting so that I could get this thing undone. But how about that? Talk about impressive, right, Teresa? Like, look at, look at that. So like I said, she called it a squash card, like, you know, winter squash, squash card. Um, so I'm sure you could look it up online, like YouTube, I'm sure she saw a video or something. Um, but isn't that so cool how she did that? So it's basically, looks like maybe eight by eight piece of design or um, cardstock, right? I know, oh wow, isn't that so cool? Um, but like, and then she just scored it probably at four inches all the way around and then there was some diagonal scoring. And then the big thing is trying to make sure like one goes in and one goes out and then being nice to your little buddies, right? When you fold this up, so that when you fold it up, you don't hurt those little guys that are popping up. So isn't that so cool? So yeah, like I said, Charlene demonstrated that card for us um, at our team meeting. So we just had a great meeting and I uh, wanna show you guys things, things to encourage you. If you have not bought the starter kit, if you're thinking, if you're ever thinking about getting the starter kit, we um, do a separate Facebook Live at our team meeting. So I show you how to do the make and takes. We do demonstrations. So Charlene demonstrated this on our Facebook Live. And then we have lots of other um, business challenges and creative challenges and recognition and just lots of good stuff that we do separately from what I do here on this 
um, Facebook Live. So love to have you be a part of our Inkspired Stampers group. You can swap with us even long distance. So for example, this card that Diana made, she actually mailed these to me and then I swapped them for her at our team meeting and then I mail back you know, the swap cards that she gets. So you can even like from a long distance perspective, you can still really participate in our team meetings and just being a part of our team. Like I said, we have that separate Facebook group where we do the Facebook Live for our team meetings and then lots of other interaction on there as well. And it's great to be a part of this Facebook group too. So we kind of overlap back and forth between both of the groups, um, but I have just, a, you know, a separate group just for my team also. So, and they get all of my PDFs for free every month. They get the Demo Design Dream Team tutorial PDF for free every single month. So lots of good perks for being an Inkspired Stamper as well. So if you have any questions ever, we don't have in particular, hello, Melissa, we don't have um, like a special starter kit deal going on right now, but honestly, the starter kit is always an awesome deal. If you're ever looking at buying like $100 or more, you might as well get the starter kit because when you buy the starter kit, you pick $125 in product and you only pay $99 plus sales tax. That 10% shipping fee that's kind of annoying is waived, right? So if you put a $100 order in, that 10% shipping fee or $10, that's waived right off the bat, right? Plus, you know, get the starter kit and you get $125 for only $99. So it's like a kind of a no brainer. So, and then you get to hang out with us and swap and make cute projects with us. I send make and takes out to people. Also, you need to get your own stamp set and your ink because we can't do the stamping for you. But um, I love to try to, you know, um, help people out that are long distance as much as I can too, to feel kind of, to feel a part of things also. So, yeah, love to have you join us anytime. And always let me know if you ever have any questions on the starter kit, okay? Um, okay, let's see, I think we are ready. <clears throat> let's do our first drawing for, this is the embroidered ribbon. And again, I don't have another project, but I love, this ribbon has been some of my favorite ribbon for fall, especially. Um, yeah, I wish I had brought something over that has it on it because it's just so pretty. But you guys probably already know how pretty it is, right? Because I saw lots of people sharing, which I appreciate. So we have lots of names in my little Stampin' Up! basket here. If you share the Facebook Live video, or if you're new to me and you haven't signed up for my email list, there will be a link at the top of this Facebook Live video, like there is every single Facebook Live video, there's a link right there that says, join my email list. Just click on that. Your name will go in the drawing on our next Facebook Live for um, signing up for my email list. And then as many times as you wanna share this video right here, especially like I said to those crafting groups, your name goes in here that many times too. So you share 10 times, your name's in here 10 times. I have to write your name 10 times on these little pieces of paper. So I know who's sharing, it's fun. And it's like kind of a joke, but like I literally say hi to every single one of you as I'm writing your name on this little slip. I'm like, hi, Philomena, hi, Deb, hi, Susie. <laughs> so it's, I, I feel like I'm kind of a dork like that, but it just makes me think of you guys too, so which is fun. So, all right, here we go. I was trying to sh separate those because I had a few like all stuck together. Okay, so the winner of the embroidered ribbon is... Miss Sabina Miller. Oh, congratulations, Sabina. I will get you your ribbon. That is awesome because I ha she hasn't shared in a while. So that's really fun. And thank you very much for sharing too and what good fortune you have. So congratulations, Sabina. All right, I'm gonna scoot those out of the way. I do need to get the names in here for the next drawing that we will do in a sec. But in the meantime, I wanna show you guys what we are gonna give away on our next Facebook Live, again, for sharing the Facebook Live video or signing up for my email list. We have, so they're in the little package, right? You, maybe you can kind of see them from the back. These are, I'll make sure I'm saying the name right, yep, the Glitter Star Ornaments. So I just showed you, it's probably easier, you can look at it on here, right? So this is one of those Glitter Star Ornaments, that little guy right there. So it comes on a little piece of like silver thread and then, um, you know, you can put it on whatever you want, but they're super cute. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's what we're gonna give away is those little glitter star ornaments. We will do that on our next Facebook Live for every share and for signing up for my email list, okay? So, good, good stuff. <clears throat> All right, I'm getting a little frog in my throat. That was the thing that happened last, like on Tuesday night when we had our meeting. I talk quite a bit at that meeting and my throat was getting so dry. And then you're like, you know, that so self-conscious coughing because you're like, I don't have COVID, I promise. <laughs> but my throat's super dry, so, <laughs> you know, crazy COVID, right? Um, so let's see, what else do I wanna show you guys? Actually, talking about downline members, I wanna give a congratulations to Sandra Bookmeyer, 
who just reached qualified team member, which means she has gotten to $900 in sales after buying the starter kit. Oh, I've got like, hey, Deb, hey, Susie. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, but yeah, so Su uh, Sandra, sorry, I'm like getting my name. So Sandra, yes, reached qualified team member, her $900 in sales. She's actually halfway to that Bronze Elite promotion where she's gonna get 25% off of her orders instead of just 20%. So basically discount, right? When you buy the starter kit, you get automatically get a 20% discount. But then when you get to Bronze Elite, you get a 25% percent discount or if you're selling then you earn commission 25 percent commission on whatever you sell too so it's a great um, goal to get to and Sandra is already halfway there so as a congratulations to her for reaching a qualified team member status she gets a $25 shopping spree for me so Sandra let me know what you would like and congratulations so good for you she was our first uh, promotion since um, the new year started so Stampin Up's year starts on October 1st and ends on September 30th so we just ended the end of September and now we're rolling getting fresh into a brand new year in October so you guys are sweet that's sweet to for the congratulations Philomena it was funny because I was like if I draw Philomena's name another like three weeks in a row that will be you definitely need to get a lottery ticket then so I did have that thought as I wrote your name on your little piece of paper last night as I was doing the shares so you never know though it can happen right so <laughs> yes so let's see okay um oh I know what I want to show you guys so Teresa I think you're watching and I have to okay let me just show I got to show your cute little I'll show the back of it so she put washi tape on her envelope she sent me this super cute card and i love so there's washi tape there and actually i can cover it up too so that we don't see any addresses but then there was washi tape so i love how she decorated the envelope too and then the card you guys this card is spectacular like look at all of the detail on that card right so they've got the little the basket of apples and the leaves and the pumpkins and the rake um what's the green it's a green leaf. There's one green leaf that didn't turn, I guess, right? But isn't that so cute? And it's popped up. So she used some of the, what, why can't I think of them? They're not the um, dimensionals, but like the foam adhesive strip, right? Isn't that so cute? And then even on the inside, she decorated. Love that, right? I can't thank you enough with more little falling leaves. And then, um, is that? Yeah, that's designer series paper. I wasn't sure if it was washi. Or designer series paper and then the little pumpkin there too right and then she wrote a, a sweet note too she says hi amy just wanted to say how grateful i am for winning the new cut and emboss machine your generosity is overwhelming thanks again teresa so you're welcome teresa that was so fun um to give that away too i don't like i can't always afford to give like huge prizes away like that right but that was so fun as part of that um 50th birthday special to be able to do that so you are very welcome and i love this car just so Oh, super duper cute so thank you for sending that as well I appreciate that Teresa and kind of with that in mind right so Teresa won that as part of the 50th birthday special by putting in an online order so now we are gonna draw for this week's giveaway which is the awesome the plaid tidings designer series paper which you can't even get the full effect of this paper and I'm trying to see where's one of those swap cards right so it featured on there's some of the plaid tidings designer series paper on both of those cards right so you can see right so that's what we're going to give away right now if you put an online order in of at least thirty dollars anytime between our last facebook live and wednesday at midnight right your name is in here you are going to get your chance to win the plaid tidings designer series paper you automatically get the projects that i demonstrated on our last facebook live with your minimum $30 order. If you bumped your order up to $50, you got to choose from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are the wonderful gems this month in October. So same thing that'll be that'll apply through the rest of the month. If you put an online order in of at least $50, you can pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the gems. The tutorial, I don't know if you'll be able to see, right? But it's kind of a color step by step look at all of the detail and instructions um tells you exactly how to make these projects hello miss teresa glad you can be here with us so yeah great tutorial new one every single month too so you can if you order every single month you can get every single month's um, demo design dream team pdf tutorial for free also okay so let's do our drawing for the plaid tidings designer series paper and let's see who our winner is. 
yeah, that card was gorgeous, Teresa. So you're so welcome. That was very sweet of you to send that also. Okay, they're like stuck together. Hold on. Let me get things separated here. Okay, so we have one in my hand. Yes, one. Miss Christy Netsley. All right, congratulations, Christy. You are the proud new owner of the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper. So I will get that paper to you, Miss Christy. Thank you for your order, too. And everyone, thank you, everyone, for your orders, too. Um, I will tell you, though, you know, I still, I don't get too many online orders, really. So I'm always saying this, ladies, but your chances are really good of winning this drawing because there's just not that much competition, right? So keep that in mind. If you're ever thinking about ordering, I would love for you to order through me. Just make sure you use the host code that automatically um, gets credited to me as your demonstrator, and then you get all the fun freebies from me also, too. So next week on Facebook Live, we are going to be giving away, this is the... 2019-21 in color designer series paperback. So this is the Rococo Rose on this side, and I think it looks like Pretty Peacock on that side. I'm not gonna open it. Um, look at how weird the lighting is when I set that. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe is the pink better? Does that make me look rosier? Because this color is not doing it for me. <laughs> anyway, it's so dark in here too, guys. I was like, are we gonna have, I think it's okay. You guys have to tell me if it seems really dark. I have an overhead light right here that I don't normally turn on because I don't really like the effect that that light brings, but it's so like kind of dark and dreary. It's actually like white, like cloudy, but like was rainy all night, I think. Um, so it's just really not very bright in here or outside either. So hopefully the lighting is okay because I have, I forget in the winter it's different than in the summer. So blah, 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 blah. Anyway, we're gonna give this away, this designer series paper pack, six by six pack of paper, 2019-21 in color paper pack on our next Facebook Live. Just put at least a $30 order in and your name goes in the drawing to win this on our next Facebook Live, okay? All right, Um. right, let's see, what are we gonna do? Oh, couple of quick, hold on, I need a sip of water first though. Okay, I just have a couple of quick reminders. So I'm going to the weekend retreat this weekend, and then in a couple more weeks on Saturday, November 14th, we have our one-day retreat right here in Alma, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. If you cannot make it to the retreat, we're doing a retreat in a box also. So you get everything that everybody's gonna get at the retreat, I'm gonna mail it to you. Or if you're local, you can do porch pickup and then you save on the shipping fee. So RSVPs are actually due by the end of the month on October 30th for the one day retreat and the retreat in a box. So if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get you signed up for the retreat. Come hang out with for us for the day. I feed you and spoil you and give you lots of treats and prizes and make and takes, and then you just hang out and make whatever you want all day long too, because you don't have anything else to do except craft and have fun and chat with the other ladies that are there, right? Um, so one day retreat, Saturday, November 14th, or the retreat in a box coming up. Make sure you RSVP ASAP and prepay. Both of those, okay? Bingo also is coming up on um, Wednesday, November 4th. So that's right around the corner too, the day right after election day, yes. <laughs> Thank goodness that will all be over, well, hopefully, I don't know. They're talking about how long it's gonna take to count the ballots, right? So it might not really be over, but anyway, whatever. So the day after election day, Wednesday, November 4th is bingo, live bingo, here in Alma at the Stamp Studio. RSVPs are actually due tomorrow. RSVP and payment are due tomorrow, Friday, October 23rd, okay? One last quick reminder is about the Poinsettia Place class to go. So I'm gonna just show you these cards real quick because RSVPs for this class to go are also due tomorrow. So if you're interested, I'll include the link to more details on the class to go um, above this um, Facebook Live video. Uh, so find this video on Facebook, you'll find the link right there. And I've been posting about it too. If you need info, more info, let me know. I'm happy to send you. But these are the cards that you could make. So we're gonna make, you'd make two of each of these cards. I'm just gonna kind of flip them up. There's that one. I love, I love all of these, this poinsettia. And I'm not a huge poinsettia fan, but this stuff, was beautiful, right? So you could make two of each of those projects in that class to go. RSVPs are due tomorrow though, so don't wait any longer, okay? Um, all right, I think we are ready to flip the camera down. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put that host code right there so we have that handy. Okay, so turn your heads away. We're flying through the air. We are gonna do our stamping. Okay, I'm still just so excited that so many of you could join me today. 
I just wasn't sure. Thank you, Philomena. I know I love those cards too. It literally has been one of my favorites um, class to go kits that I've made in a while. So this is the host code that you're going to want to use through the end of the month, the Y-E-D-V-S-D-Q-H, when you put your online orders in. That gets you all the good stuff from me, okay? Um, now I'm trying to make sure that I showed you guys everything. I did, right? Yeah, okay, here, this is what else I'm going to do. Let's get some grid paper. Okay. All right, so we'll bring that back into view in a little bit. I need to make sure that my grid paper is telling me. <laughs> the second one caught your eye. Yes. Oh, I think that's the one. I used some um, champagne shimmer paint on it also. Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. Yes, Christine, let me know if you need more questions or more info on those. All right. Okay, so... Let me show you. This is the first card that we are going to make, and it features, actually, I should probably come up here, right, so you guys can see. This feels like Frost Designer Series paper. So this is kind of, I call it like an oldie but a goodie because it was actually in last year's holiday catalog. I loved it, and like time got away from me, and I did not get to play with it as much as I would have liked. So I was thrilled to be able to pull that paper pack back out for this year and be able to use it again to show you some beautiful projects. So what I want to show you guys first is the different patterns of paper, because it's all, um, I don't know what you call it, but it's like lifelike. Like they went outside in wintertime and took pictures of real winter scenes, and that's what they put on this paper. So, and then the back side, so there's like a real winter scene on one side, and then kind of the silver foil, in that case, it's snowflakes. So every one of them has lifelike and then silver foil something or other. I think that one actually goes like that. So there's that one. Oh, L Lily's back and Stormy's very excited. So then there's that one there. And isn't that beautiful? So can you imagine, all, like you could make this card with so many of the scenes in this paper as well, and then just pick one of the colors to use as your card base there too. Hi, Lily. Oh, okay, you're going to the gym. We'll say hi to Stormy because he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So say hi to Stormy because he's very confused because he heard you and then he didn't see you. <laughs> All right. So, oops. Yeah, I guess you guys can side, kind of see the other side because I love this side. This side is fine. I absolutely love this side of the papers. So there's another winter scene, which doesn't that look so pretty, right? I'm still not ready for winter, but that is very pretty on paper, right? There's another one. Isn't it gorgeous? So that one would work great on there also with that same seaside spray is the card base, right? Then there's this one here. So I don't know if you guys have seen this because it's a little bit overlooked. I love that stripe on there too. And then this, it's almost like dew or like snow melting, right? And then the other side there. And then, I don't know, maybe that one goes that way. It's like all icy, icy branches. Okay, we're going to flip back this way. How about that one, huh? Can you imagine being in that scene? It looks like out in Colorado or something at the top of a mountain almost. And then this one, I'm not even sure which way, but it's like, Look at, oh, beautiful. Which way? Maybe that way for that one? I don't know, but they're gorgeous, aren't they? So pretty. So that one's pretty. Is that one the same? Yeah, it is. That's that one. Oh, because then I put, these are my three extra pieces. So you get four sheets of each of these in a pack. So I kind of put these aside to make sure when I need to make more cards to send to people <coughs> in their thank you packages, I've got them all ready to go right there. So beautiful pack of paper, right? Okay. Oh, I feel like I'm going to need a mint here today, ladies. <coughs> okay, we're going to start with water <coughs> and see if that helps. Mm. Yeah, that DSP is beautiful, isn't it, Susan? All right, hold on one sec. Enjoy that card for a moment. I'm going to grab a mint because I don't think I'm going to be able to keep talking <coughs> for too long without having a problem. Okay. Now to get it open. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Mint, don't. Okay. Or maybe just the thought of getting a mint is gonna help me. <laughs> maybe I don't actually need the mint. I'm gonna try it off. Okay. There. It's like a mental thing, isn't it, right? Hey, Liz, how are you? Glad you can join us. We're gonna just start making some cards now. Okay. So. We have our, oh, let me show you too, because I loved the dyes so much that I almost kind of focused on those, but I love, so thinking of you, I think it's perfect, 
for this scene. And then on the inside, I had to show you some of the stamps too and how they work together. So for example, we use that one and that one and that one and that one. So you can see how we kind of shaded it in with this one and then the more detail is those right there. So let me show you, simple card, but beautiful, right? That's what I'm all about too, ladies, is that simple yet beautiful. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be super time consuming or um, labor intensive, but still is a beautiful card, which is the way I roll these days. Okay, so let's get these things out. Put that one over there. Okay, so I did a little bit of die cutting already. I'll tell you about those in a sec, just so you didn't have to watch me die cut too many things, but wanted to give you the idea. Okay, so we are going to start with, this is Seaside Spray cardstock. Okay, there's our full sheet of cardstock. We cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, is that in view? I think it is, right? Okay, then let's put that up there. We have, this is our whisper white piece that goes on the inside of the card that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. So that's that piece right there, okay? And then on the outside, this is the layer that goes behind the DSP, measures three and three quarter by five inches. And then this one is just graduated in just an eighth of an inch. So this one measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. <laughs> Lori, you found me. Thank you. I'm so glad you can be here with us. All right. So I think those are the only things. Uh, actually, this little guy. And I gave myself an extra one just in case. <laughs> I screwed it up. So this one is a half an inch by three inches. Okay. And that's for your little thinking of you right there. Okay. So let's see. We are going to do some die cutting. So I'll show you. I had already die cut. So there's this piece right here. We're going to cut the detail piece that goes over top. And then we have, again, this one with the detail. So we need one more detail back there. So we just need those detailed pieces cut out right there. And then these were all ready to go. So you kind of, can you see? And you could, so that one is just, oops, layered right back there. So you can layer them on top of each other and kind of have a white on white effect or this, and then it kind of pulls the color in behind it. So you can go either way, but aren't those, they're so cute, right? Okay, so let's do our die cutting for those other detailed pieces. I'm gonna grab our new cut and emboss machine, which is fabulous and we love it so much. Okay, I just have a, this is just a strip of Whisper White cardstock that we're gonna use to do our die cutting. Okay, where are the dies? Here we go. <clears throat> so, let me pull these out so you can see. We used, so we already cut the outside with that one and that one. This one is one that we need, that we're gonna use this guy right here for the detailed piece, okay? And then we need this other detailed piece too, okay? So those are the two we're gonna cut right there and there. All right, let's crank this through. Oh, you know what I didn't bring was my paper piercing tool. I feel like it worked, this worked pretty well, kind of on its own. You know, all the pieces came out, but let's see. Let's see how we do here. Yep, okay, so I think that one's gonna be good. So can you see how, <laughs> I just filed my fingernails there. Yeah, I think pretty much everything came out. So there's another detailed piece that we needed right there. Isn't that so pretty? I love all of the detail into the detailed piece. Now this was what was kind of interesting was this one, and it's cool though, right? So this, uh, and I'll have to work on getting all that out, but we'll do that later. But this one, you can, I put it on like an oval piece and so it just kind of cuts out um, all of the detail, but it doesn't cut itself out, right? So then you have to go back and use this die right here and we're gonna put this over top of here and we're gonna hope that I line it up nicely. Um, <laughs> there's probably some trick. I'm sure somebody knows some trick and has shared it. But I have had pretty good success with just laying that right over top and then cutting it out. Plus, it's going to be layered over top of this piece. So if you don't cut it absolutely perfectly, it's okay because any of those little 
edges or whatever are gonna kind of be masked by like putting it on top of that. So I think we'll be okay. But that was the one thing like, okay, that's kind of a two-stepper there. But yeah, ooh, I did a really good job, I think. Maybe down at the bottom it's a little bit thin, but how about that? Isn't that cool? So that would be really pretty. You could just use that one all on its own. Or like I said, we're gonna layer it on top of the other guy. So, all right, let's scoot this. We are done with this for now. We will need that again for our next card. Um, so I think, let's see, I think we can do some stamping and put some stuff together here. So, need those also. Okay, so we have Seaside, was I saying, I don't know what I was saying. It's Seaside Spray, is that the name I gave it before? Oh, as I think about that too. Everything that you need to know, so all of the dimensions, all of the product names, all the item codes, Everything that you need to order any of these products to make these projects is going to be on my blog. Got to give me a little bit of time after we get done with Facebook Live. I'll get everything uploaded um, so it'll all be right there. So for ease of shopping, I even have the host code right on my blog too, which apparently you can't see because it's up too high. Um, but anyway, I've always got that right on my blog also. So hopefully that is helpful for you so you can get what you need to make these beautiful projects as well. Okay, so we are going to stamp our thinking of you. So nice, easy tap, tap, tap as always for our stamping. We're gonna put it right about there. Okay, all right, I think I did it. Like I said, I gave myself an extra one. I actually had four tries, right? I could do the back or front and back, but hey, I did it in one try, so that's good, okay? Then I also want to stamp on this larger piece. Mm, let's see, here we go. You know what I want though, Maybe a little scrap piece of paper too. Because you know me, I don't like getting my grid paper all dirty. Although there is my extra little piece of, you know, I don't know how I can have everything so set and then, hmm. I don't know where it is. I know what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna use one of these little scrap pieces of paper because I wanna stamp off. You guys are, you're not even like, what are you talking about, Amy? Okay. So here we go, we're gonna stamp that tree right there. And then we'll do this little detailed one. Aren't these so cute? Those two little trees right there. Okay, so there's the detail, right? We're gonna just fill that in with a little bit of shading. So what we wanna do is stamp off. So we're gonna ink that up. I'm gonna stamp pretty firmly because I wanna get most of that ink off. I want it just because the one I have on my card is maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna ink up. We're gonna stamp it off on scratch paper. And then we're gonna put the rest right on there. Yeah, isn't that cool? So you can see it just adds a little bit of color and shading. It's supposed to not be perfect, so you don't have to worry about lining things up exactly because it's kind of supposed to have that little watercolor wash look to it. Okay. So I think the other thing we want to do is use our new, this is the Banners Pick-A-Punch, I think it's called. And okay, are we still, I think we're all right in view, right? Let's see, let me twist that just a tiny bit. There, okay. So you guys have seen this, right? I've used it a bunch of times because I love it so much already. But this one has that little angle, and then that one's kind of got the reverse. And you can go half inch, three quarter, and one inch all in those little slits. Okay, so we're gonna put this in. Make sure it's lined up evenly at the half inch. Punch that little baby out, okay? All right, now I think we are ready to put things together. I'm trying to find, I got my ink. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the inside, not ink, this is my adhesive. Let's get that going. There, okay. That little bit on my finger, but I just stuck it right there. So then I can put it right on the inside of my card. Okay, so we have this one. Let's open that up there. That shadow was bugging me because it's so dark here in Michigan right now. Just forget it. Don't even worry about it. There's nothing we can do about it, right? We just play with cute, pretty, beautiful things and forget about the weather outside. <laughs> it's that time of year now, ladies. Unfortunately, maybe. Okay, try to scoot that over just a touch. There we go, isn't that, but look at, oh, I love, look, it's so pretty. And like I said, you could use so many different patterns 
of that paper with this very simple, who can't use more thinking of you cards, right? I think we can always use more of those cards. Okay, got that. There, I'm being like especially kind of anal today. Okay, so now this is my trick. Gotta use your silicone mat here to add adhesive. And this one is actually a little bit easier because you can see there are a lot more holes in this one than in this one. But this is, I just kind of flick with my wrist. I just wanna get little flicks of, oops, adhesive on here, okay? I don't ever run a huge long strip because then you have all of that that you're trying to work with to kind of get off or cover up. You don't want to have a big long strip of it, right? Okay, just little flicks to kind of add. So there's that one, right? And we're gonna pop that up on a dimensional. Now this is one that is a little bit trickier because it's got so much um, open space, right? So you just, you want to be kind of gentle too but you do need to get some adhesive in those places. And I can see I've got a big span of it there, but I'll show you what I do. And this is especially helpful because I'm not getting adhesive all over my grid paper. It doesn't stick on here. It's like magic, basically. So we're gonna lay that down on there. And hello, Miss Ashley, so glad you can join us. Okay, so now I am just taking my finger and kind of carefully rubbing, because some places don't have adhesive, so I don't want to be super aggressive um, and kind of rumple it up. But I'm just taking my finger and kind of rubbing off any of the extra adhesive. And it's also helping me to um, uh, kind of make sure it's flattened down on there also. So there we go. All right, so there's the other one. So we're going to flip these over. And you might get a little bit of adhesive, so you just need to kind of peel that off, find a little scrap paper. You could use the little um, adhesive remover too. Um, that's also helpful, but you have to be careful because that can kind of rip and pull your paper. Okay, so we're gonna add some dimensionals behind each of these guys. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive, again, right on here on my little silicone mat. Okay, and maybe one little bit right there, okay. So we'll scoot these things. Actually, the other thing, <laughs> I, I need my longer fingernails back. We're gonna add a little bit of adhesive right on there too. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and, oops, some of the back came off, but that's all right. You won't even see it. We're gonna put him kind of right about there. Okay, then we're gonna add I mean, I feel like I have adhesive <laughs> all over my fingers. Okay. We are going to put this one maybe right about there. And then one more. The smaller one with the detail. Add that one right about there. And then, and I kind of like to, if you have something that can kind of curl, curl this so it's in a little bit of a, like a, banner wave almost and then I just put adhesive on that end right there you can tell it's man this is like a serious heavy duty adhesive put that right there and just kind of slip that back down in there if I press firmly then I can kind of oops roll it again there we go so there is our first project. Oh, actually, I'm not done. I was like, ooh, I know it needs a little something else. So I added I added a bunch of rhinestones, honestly. I don't normally um, put quite so many on, but I just couldn't stop. So I think I put like five rhinestones on here. So we're just going to kind of, it's almost like, um, you know, dew or something on this winter scene. Put one right there. I just couldn't stop, ladies. I did one more kind of over in the corner here. So you can just kind of, oops, sprinkle these around on your card as much as you would like. And then once you make sure you like where you've got them, then you press firmly. So yeah, just add your rhinestones. There is the final finishing touch. Teresa, I'm glad you like those. I know the DSP is beautiful too, isn't it, uh, Miss Phil Philomena? Yeah, love, love, love that, right? Okay, so there's our first project. And I'm gonna actually humor me for a moment. I wanna clean these stamps off so that I don't get ink all over. At least it's a light color, right? It's not like a 
bright red or a dark black, but there. So I'm using my Simply Chamois um, to kind of clean those off a little bit. Okay, so actually here, we'll scoot these. Get my rhinestones. All right, card number one. Actually, let's set that over there too. All right, so let me show you our next project. And again, this one features more of our designer series paper that carried over. This is not, I think I'm drawing a blank, but I think it's the brightly gleaming designer series paper that it was in last year's holiday catalog also. But I saw a card with this designer series paper and then the mossy meadow trees. I saw that on Pinterest and I was like, I love that color combination together. So I kind of borrowed some of the elements from her card and added them to this card that I'm going to share with you right now. So let's see, what else do you guys what do you need to know about this one? Well, let me just kind of get things out and I'll, I'll tell you about it as we're making this one too. Okay. I did some more of the die cutting ahead of time um, because this one again has two trees with detail behind them, okay? So same idea, we did the, you have an extra pack from last year too? Me too, Susan. I know, I love, that was my absolute favorite pack of paper. It's funny though, because then now I'm like, oh, I mean, I love it, I still do, but I'm, you know, I guess because I've seen it for a while, there's all the pretty new stuff too, so. <laughs> So, okay, again, we die cut a mossy meadow, like full tree, and then this is the other detailed one that we haven't used yet, and then that's gonna layer right on top of that. Same idea, we'll use our little silicone mat. So we're gonna make another one. And then we're gonna die cut a star out of, this is copper foil. Ooh, look at that reflection, right? Some copper foil paper. These are more of my little banners. Um, let me give you dimension on this one. A half an inch by three and a quarter inch on that little banner to do our season's greetings. And let's see, these are just scraps for the bottom piece for the snow right there. Hello, Tammy, glad you can be here with us. This one we're gonna use to die cut our tree, okay? And then these are the other pieces that you need um, dimensions on, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. I'm like moving everything all over the place. Okay, so crumb cake cardstock is our base for this particular card, okay? So this time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So there's our card base, right? Then we have a piece of the Brightly Gleaming Designer Series paper that measures three inches by five and a half inches. And then, and you don't even have to make them quite this wide, but I had these strips already in my scraps. So Knight of Navy cardstock that measures one and a half by five and a half. You could probably get away with like a one inch wide strip there as well, because those are just gonna kind of layer on either side, right there and there, okay? And then this whisper white piece for the bottom for the snow is one and a half by three inches wide, okay? So everything else are just scraps that we are going to um, die cut from. We did do an inside piece, because again, I love to show you guys the trees, right? So we've got a whisper white piece that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? So let's do our stamping. Um, Actually, let's do our die cutting first. We'll get that done. Okay, so we don't need any of that. We're gonna die cut trees and a star this is what we need. Okay, so grab my new cut and emboss machine. Okay, still love, still love, love, love this. Having lots and lots of fun. Okay, so we're gonna put that there and that there. Oh, and the stars come from, and I have to tell you guys because <laughs> Lily always helps me put this black magnetic piece on here after I get my dies. I don't know how to put these back in here so that I can fit them all. Uh, like there are so many dies in this die set that like I can't, <laughs> like there's that one guy right there. You can see him like, I don't know where to put him. Everything else fits, but he does not, <laughs> he doesn't fit anywhere on here. So um, we are actually gonna cut a couple of those little babies too. So we need, we need this star right here and then this one, it actually cuts that teeny tiny little bit, even though it's this huge um, die piece there. So we're gonna put that right there. And let's see, I just brought scraps over. I think that's gonna be all right. So even though it's hanging way off the edge, we only want the inside piece there. So that should be good. <clears throat> and then we want these things right here. So we're gonna do another kind of just outside edge. And then this one is gonna cut all of the detail that's gonna go on top of it. 
So I think we're gonna have to cut one more little baby star, but we'll do that in a sec. I think that should be it. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what we ended up with here. So we've got this one that has all of the detail, right? And then that one that will pop right out too. Okay, so those are all good to go. Okay, just kind of lift this up. And it's great how most all of those little pieces pop right out. There's one little guy, but isn't that cool? So pretty, huh? So there, we're gonna layer that right on there. Okay, and then we've got our stars. So it's crazy how, how big that is. And then that's the star that it makes, which is all that we need, right? But then this one was the same idea. Because it cuts, you can see it's actually really cool how it leaves all that detail, right? But we just want, actually that's bigger. Hmm. Which, which star did I use then? Can you see, this is what I thought I was doing. Oh, I think I see it now. These, these are what I'm trying to make. Those little babies right there. Okay, take two. You know, that happens. I think I see it. It's this one. That teeny weeny little baby is what we need. Okay, we'll see. Put one there. Okay, let's crank those out. Okay, and then we need one more. Once we do this one, so that one is good. Oh yeah, don't lose that, right? Uh-huh, that's gonna be nearly impossible. And then we'll do one more right there. Okay, and I'll just have to keep that other star for something else, right? <laughs> Thank you, Susan. I'm glad you like that card. I love the colors um, were what were so fun to me, right? Okay, let's see. Is it going to come out? <laughs> it's going to be funny. Oh, well, I have, I think I have my paper snips that I could use to get that popped out there. I'm going to leave it right on that die for now. Okay, let's do our stamping. So we've got this piece on the inside that we're gonna do our trees on. So let's do that. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna stamp those. I just like to have a little something on the inside of the card. And actually, we're using Mossy Meadow ink too. And again, I'll give you all the names of everything that we're using on these projects on my blog this afternoon. Okay, where is the card? It's right here, isn't it? So yeah, I just wanna go down to this end, right? That says, season's greetings. Okay, there we go. All right, I think we've got that and that. I think we're good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure. Oh, yeah, I think. Oh, I forgot to do this one. I knew, I was like, I felt like I was missing something. We need to do the um, snow on this one. So we, we need to grab our cut and emboss machine one more time. Put that right back there. So let's cut our snow now, right? So we've got this here. Mm -hmm. And I used the little bit wavier one. You could use whichever one you like, right? And I'm gonna put it maybe right about there. Okay, crank that through. And then we are done. There we go. Right out of the way. So there's our snow, right? And there is a little line there, but somehow you don't even see it once you put the whole card together. Because I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I like that line, but I really don't notice it once I have everything all put together. Okay, so let's get some adhesive. We'll do these things. Actually, we need to do that and that and that. And let's see if we can pop that little guy out. There we go. We did it. All right, flip that baby over too. Okay, adhesive right here. <laughs> like where'd the adhesive go? Okay, so again, we're just gonna do like little flicks of adhesive. You don't wanna do a long strip because that just gets really annoying to try to rub all that off, especially because this is such good adhesive now. It used to be a little bit easier with the snail to kind of rub it off, um, but now, yeah, you just don't wanna have too much on there. So there, we got that one. Okay, same idea here. And you don't need, you know, it doesn't need to be over everything, just more the edges is what you really want it on. Okay, isn't that so cool? How it really changes the look of it when you add that on there. And again, rub that little bit of adhesive off. I'm gonna keep those right on there for now. 
This one, we actually need a dimensional behind. So let's grab that. And we can put some adhesive on this little baby too, because this is gonna go on our designer series paper piece. So we can put this one. Are we still we're working in view? I'm trying to make sure. This one can go on the bottom of that piece. It's like a little, little bit of adhesive on there, I think, right? Okay, so now I found it easiest to just add adhesive along the back here of our designer series paper and then grab my navy strips and just kind of layer. We're gonna put one side right there and then the other side over here, okay? All right, now we can add this to our card front. Okay, so there's our tall crumb cake piece. Oops, to find a place to hold on to it where there isn't adhesive, so when I try to wiggle it around, I can do that. There we go, okay. Next, we're gonna put adhesive on the back of one of these, oops, that stuck to me there. <laughs> one of these trees, maybe right about there. And then this one, we want a couple of dimensionals behind. One there and one there. Just kind of help it stay popped up, right? Do that one there. And where is my season's greetings? Oh, here it is. Okay, so we need our little banner punch again. Same idea, half inch, just gonna slide it in there. Punch that baby out. So I'm gonna add some more adhesive on this. Okay, we're gonna layer that maybe right about there. Put this little star right there. Okay, now we need a teeny tiny bit of adhesive on those. Okay, we got some adhesive, where did it go? <laughs> okay, and then, oops, I think I need to advance that a little bit more there and some adhesive on that one okay so we're just going to add those little trees <laughs> it's like sticking to my finger i remember that happening when i was trying to do this the other day too and then there's one right there that one's going to be easier to stick to because it's down it's not like popped up okay so we got that one and that one now we need to grab so this is some of that metallic ribbon we're just going to make a bow here and pop this on with a glue dot and that's kind of our final finish, finishing touch to our card, is making this pretty little bow. This ribbon has been really nice to work with. Um, something different, this metallic ribbon. It's kind of fun, huh? Cut that off a little bit there too. Okay, so we're gonna grab a mini glue dot. Oh, we gotta add that to the inside of our card too. I'm just seeing this piece right here. We gotta put that one on also. And then, there we go, grab your mini glue dot. Just gonna put that maybe right about there. Love to kind of like fluff the bow up a little bit, right? That and that, we don't need that anymore. Let's put this on the inside. Okay, don't need that guy either, right? That thing, okay, come on, adhesive. And that one there, all right. So we have another gorgeous card with the In the Pines bundle, right? All right, let me pull this postcode back into view here. So if you are interested in ordering any of the products to use to make these cards, right? Make sure you order online and use this host code, the Y-E-D-V-S-D-Q-H. If you order at least $30, you're gonna get these cards, make and takes one of each of them sent to you. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the 2019-21 In Color Designer Series Paper Pack. And if you bump your order up to over $50, as always, you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or this month's free embellishment, which are the wonderful gems. So, ladies, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these cards. I had so much fun putting them together. I This is one of my favorite bundles. Um, and I didn't even know it when I first looked in the catalog. It did not jump out at me. But after playing with it and all the beautiful detail, especially on the dies, cannot get enough of it. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you and your flexibility um, in hanging out with me today. I will tell you, my next weekend plans are a little bit up in the air. So I may be doing Facebook Live again next Thursday. 
it may be Friday or there's a chance I might not be able to do it either day. I just, I haven't quite figured out what's going on yet. So as soon as I know what's going on, I will post and let you guys know. So thank you so much for hanging in there with me and kind of jumping around and allowing me to, um, you know, get these Facebook lives done as often as I can. So thanks guys. Have a great weekend. Hopefully the sun shines where you are at some point this weekend and we'll see you soon. Thanks guys. Bye everybody. Have a good weekend.